This is a Genie 2 linear that has a broken tab, just like everybody else's. And I have a replacement over here that Manfrotto sent me, but it also came broken with another problem. So I opened the ticket, but I can't really wait for them to fix it because they're not replying to me. So uh, what I'm gonna do, since I took that apart, I'm gonna put in the latch into my unit. And if they finally respond, I'm just gonna send back the, old, the one that I don't need and just be done with it. If they don't respond, I'm just gonna keep both, order some parts from manfrotoparts.com. That's a legit store, you can actually buy this. So I'm assuming you can buy the little uh, button piece too, because what's broken is this part on my, my other unit. So I'm gonna do that. Now, you gotta be very careful towards the end. This part is easy. You just start with these three big ass buttons on the, t on the bottom. And what's gonna happen is, is your whole, this quick release plate comes off and it's gonna expose the electronics and the gears for tightening down on a non-quick release base. So, yeah, so, yeah, that's what happens. So basically you pull this off and the way that this works is that this gear sits on this plastic piece and this gear sits on here. So when you want to tighten it down, it just rotates on plastic on plastic. Now here's where you have to be very careful. So I'm gonna show you what to do exactly. So I have some tools ready because I already took the other one apart. And basically what we need to do, okay, so I'm gonna, well, probably can stay there. So you have to disconnect this cable very carefully by lifting off the, the black side of the panel or this connector and it will slide out. Not just yet because you haven't got to that part. This comes off really easily. This is just a power connector, a flat one. So you can just click it off and you're done. These are the same cables for the motor that go here. And then here is where the tricky part is. So technically, if you're like, if you have enough stickiness in your fingers, or if you have an iFixit kit or something, you could uh, pull this out. Actually, yeah, so you can just pull this out like that. And now you can start working towards the other piece, which is lifting off the panel. Now you need three different screwdrivers. This is a T20 Torx. This is a T10 Torx, and you're most likely gonna need a T6H Torx. Well, it doesn't have to be H, but it needs to be a T6. That's the part that, um, that's the part that keeps this on, which I'm guessing has to come off. Actually, no, it doesn't have to come off because this part is uh, stuck to the bottom of yeah, so that's stuck to this part. So that will come off separately. So let's continue. Uh, you have to lift this connector off. Now these have really long pins and I can show you on this. So here, these pins stand up from this panel where you charge the unit and they go into a connector on the, the board itself over there right there so you got to be very careful not to um do any damage to those pins because you have to basically pull it off but because these plastics are here it's kind of hard so what i'm gonna do and what i did earlier is i used two of these plungers or plastic things and i started lifting it off from both sides here and basically going slow and just giving it a little bit of a twist to kind of wiggle it out because that's really the only thing you can do. So if you do that like this, you can kind of grab it and just wiggle it and eventually it will let it go. Now hopefully yes. So you just have to wiggle it off and the connector here 
stays on. You can actually push it back if it lifted off, but it looks good to me. So after this is done, you're pretty close to getting this whole thing apart. So now you have to switch to the T10 and there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws that you have to take out. Of those six screws, two are longer. So these two are longer than the rest of them. So if I look at my other one, just want to make sure that I'm doing this right. But these are the ones that hold the whole thing together. So that's the normal length. This is also going to be a normal length. And then these two are also normal length. These are the ones that hold it together at the latch. And, and then you have to take out those two long screws. I apologize for the weird audio. I'm recording this on my iPhone uh, and I'm actually sick. So I didn't really have the energy to put together a nice camera setup. I just have a nice light that's overhead. Hopefully it gives enough light so you can see. But basically, when you took all these out, then the whole thing should lift off. Now, since I have it taped together, this might be a little bit of a bad situation, but yeah, this is basically what breaks all the time. So let me see if it wants to come apart. Okay, it actually, it actually does. Yeah, good. So now you just lift it off and so everything comes with this. Basically, everything comes with the pan panels and the electronics, they all come out. Now, what you have to be very careful is don't lift off this part. So always keep this on the, the, your mat upside down because the, um, the springs for the quick release um, will fall apart and you're not gonna be able to put this together. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Well, you probably could, but uh, it's gonna be really difficult because this has like six, seven springs all around and then one spring that keeps this to go back to its place. So um, there's this metal part. Behind it, there's a spring that usually pops out, but this piece, the actual locking mechanism, the plastic just slides out like that. So this is what, what breaks all the time, like, like this. It should be together, obviously, right? And it just breaks because there's too much tension in this unit. Uh, so the flat, this, this sits in here, and then the flap spring is literally just sitting in the back side of it, presses against this part of the plastic, and now I should be able to install the new one that came with the new one. It literally just slides in and then it gives you the ability to lock it and close it. Um, you don't really have to worry about it. You can leave it open for now. It just wiggles like that. Uh, make sure that all the springs are staying in place. And then you lift off your motor and everything and put the whole thing back together. So I'm going to try to squeeze this yep yeah. so that that stops the latch from opening all the way yep yeah. so then basically you have these six screws that need to be put back together i didn't even take out all of them so if you do this then they all stay in the same spot where they have to go make sure you wiggle this in so it's connecting now for me this was the broken piece and now i have a functioning slider motor and what i have to do is just tighten these down and let's see what happens. Now, if I do this correctly, then this should be a functioning slider, even though I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it three times and this, this piece is gonna break again. And at that point, I'm just gonna give up on this and sell the whole thing. Uh, So we're getting close. I'm just tightening it, you know, by tightening it across in a star pattern. I don't want to cause any problems. Yeah. 
but I want to make sure that it is Titan functional. So, okay. These have blue thread lock on it. So if you see that, that's normal. Now this unit now is complete and you can see that the quick release is working and even your balls are also working. Uh, there's nothing else really you have to do here, but put back the electronic panel. Now this one needs to go with my old one or actually the new one that's broken. So this is the tricky part because you have to align these pins in a way where they sit exactly on top of the, the pins in the connector and then push down on it. Okay, that's actually not that bad. Yeah, and those pins that do come out, the pins come out through so you should feel it with your finger, like with your skin. So in this, just make sure this cable is not getting pinched in and then it sits all the way down. So then you can apply this back. This is the, the power cable for the motor. Oh shoot, I may have broken it. Um, there's this, yeah, I broken the tab. So this side tab is kind of broken, but it, sh it should still click back because the connection is actually made with the metal clips. So that's probably not gonna affect anything, yeah. It still went back. That's why you have to be super careful because that shit can happen. Now, this is the one that's kind of tough to get this to go back to, to where it should because you have to slide it in into the gap if it wants to go in. And then if it goes in, yeah, okay, you can actually do that. So you can slide it in and then you can close down the black um, latch to keep it tight. Now, the electronics itself is not held on with anything. Um, it just sits here with pressure, I guess. So, and these pins here are the battery connectors. So here, it's the one that pokes through the, the actual battery place, yeah. And now what you need to do is put back your small gear first and then your bigger gear second. And then this, this just rotates forever, forever and ever, yeah. And then grab your bottom plate and the bottom plate aligns in a way where this one screw that's opposite of these markings goes into this gear. And you can kind of see that if you look inside where there is this this part that goes in there so no lubrication whatsoever so you just sit this on here nice and tight and you grab your teeth venies and then you start all of them at the same time without tightening them and then if all of them are kind of in almost all the way make sure you wiggle it make sure it works yeah then fix it down and here we go I'm just gonna finish it up so it's nice and flush and if I did this right if I did everything right what's gonna happen is I can throw in a battery hold on a second in the battery and let's see if I can turn it on okay the lights are on that's a good sign right now I'm not gonna be able to connect my phone because I'm recording with it but if it boots up yeah the motor is working and my button is still functional because this is the one that wasn't broken in the first place so this is fine I'm gonna put this together Here we go. Yeah, very good. And my latch is good. Now, I wanna remake this in metal because this is just bullshit. So I'm gonna to try to get somebody to model this for me and maybe do a CNC cut from aluminum. And we'll just push the, the pins through. It doesn't even have to be that perfect. I can tell you that right now. So,
so yeah i think that will work so this is how you take apart and put together a serp uh, yes genie linear 2 genie 2 linear to fix this and if you need parts go to manfrotoparts.com you can order it just put in the the serial number not the serial number the model number of the genie and you'll be able to order everything pretty much from a pdf document that shows you all the parts available even the casing the whole thing the housing uh, but you're only pretty much going to need this plate and it does come with that metal piece in there too which is totally useless because it's never going to break but that's what you get